welcome to the lazy girl's kitchen on today's episode i'm going to share with you how i make my green power smoothie now i love this smoothie i usually drink it after i work out which i did this morning and i just showered so i thought that as i'm getting ready i can drink it but before that i just wanted to share it with you i love this recipe it's really easy a handful of ingredients literally um, but the perfect combination so let me run you through the list of ingredients Okay, so what you're gonna need to make this is some coconut water, some green apples. I really love to use green apples in this recipe because they just have this like, almost like a tartness, sourness to them that I love in this smoothie. You're gonna need some mango and some spinach. That is it, there's nothing else, but all the combination of these are just divine. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put all our ingredients into our blender so you can even add some protein powder to this if you want I don't I don't need it but um it's always like a good option and then some coconut water all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blend this for a few minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's there Okay, so this is exactly what you're looking for. Like, I mean, whatever your consistency to a smoothie is, if you like it a little bit chunky, feel free to do that. It's your kitchen, but I like it really smooth. I like to drink it with a straw so it's just easier. All right, so let me give this a try. It's perfect, like absolutely perfect. And I don't even add any sweetness to this, no honey, no anything, because I think that the mango itself really sweetens it. And then that green apple just kind of gives it a little bit of a tart taste. And then I just have the spinach in here because why not? Um, but the combination of everything is just perfect. Like. The consistency is wonderful, the taste is beyond wonderful, and this will keep me full while I'm getting ready for the day until I can really make myself like a really solid breakfast. Um, I don't believe in like a substitute breakfast, but to keep me full, this definitely does the job. So to get this recipe and many others, you're gonna head over to www.thelazygirlskitchen.com and make sure you subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.